Hey everyone, it's Graphic back with another video, and with the Great Sword coming out, a lot of people are going to want to know, what's the fastest way to level up our weapons in New World? Well, one of the best is definitely still Elite POIs, so we're going to talk exactly about what Elite POIs we're talking about, and kind of some of the things you need to bring. So here you can see I'm leveling my Blunderbuss, and I'm running the Great Sword with it, or not the Great Sword, I, I wish, I'm running the Great Axe with it, because it does have a great setup ability, the Gravwell, so... There's a lot of XP right there, and I want to also talk a little bit about what it takes to level your weapons all the way up to level 20. How much XP is that exactly? So here we have level 2, about 50 XP, level 3, 100 XP, 4, 200 XP, 5, 400 XP, 6, 700 XP. As we go on, we can see that level 20 is 16,100 XP from 19 to 20, but the big XP in total is about 100,000 at 98,000. 350 total XP to get your weapon from level 1 to level 20. So that's something a lot of you guys may have not known, but I want to talk about some of these elite POIs. So the first one that comes to mind is actually going to be Brightwood Isle. This is going to be the lowest level elite POI that is going to give you really, really good weapon XP. This is going to be one of the best places for weapon XP because they're very, very low level mobs, and it's going to allow you to kite them very easily without taking pretty much any damage. You're not going to have to pop many potions. You're not going to have to do much at all besides just throw a grav well, throw an ice shower, throw an ice storm, throw any of these AOE stun lock abilities like shockwave or anything like that, and then throw some AOE down, throw some damage down. You're going to get a lot of different mastery, or you can just kite them like you see here in this video. We also have the stone skull fort. This is going to be more of a higher tier place that you're going to probably want to come with a couple different people to really make this worth it. Uh, Stone Skull Fort, though, is a really great place to farm. They actually have some bosses in there as well that have some great drops for low-level players. I will say, altogether, Stone Skull Fort was probably one of my favorites in the past. Uh, definitely with Dead Man's Cove uh, being the lowest tier back in the day, Stone Skull Fort was always my go-to. So I would bring a healer, I would bring uh, another guy that would throw in the AoE, and then I would do the DPS with the Ice Storm or the um, or really Pillar of Fire as well. So any of those AoE abilities, AoE stuns, are going to do a lot in these areas. One thing to mention as well, in the next spot we have Perryville. This is going to be one of my favorites as well. I haven't used this one near as much, but it gives you some great weapon XP as well. I did test it out. It's still just a very, very viable option. And I want you guys to kind of tell me in the comments below which spot is your favorite, or do you even use the elite POIs for leveling your weapon mastery? Or do you mostly just stick to running expeditions and maybe during your world tours you take out your weapon that is not leveled to 20 and just start leveling there? You can see that these are really great places and there's many of them. So Iridanus is another one. This is recommended level 46. I use this one specifically for my fire staff because when you go here, you are going to get a lot of different uh, angry earth type creatures, which fire staff is obviously very good against. And this is a great spot as well. If you want to bring three to five people and just start grouping up many of them at the exact same time bursting them with either meteor shower pillar of fire or really incinerate or any kind of aoe that does some fire damage so so we have scorpius next this is going to be a recommended level 50 recommended players five again you don't really have to bring five you're level 60 and you're just looking to level up that weapon mastery this is going to be the highest tier zone that we're going to use today this is going to be the place you're really going to want as well, life staff users to heal you up because these things do some damage. We're also going to want somebody with a great axe to group them up. And if you're looking to run a three to five man team so that you can continue to grind your weapon mastery, this is going to be the best place to do it if you have three to five players. If you want to do this instead of expeditions, you're not going to get that great of loot. However, like I said, weapon mastery is going to be a very viable option here. There's going to be a lot of great places, like we said in this video, to do your weapon mastery grinding. But if you want to do it solo, the place I'm at right now is probably the best. The level 35 zone, you can see that when I was, I believe, level like 40, I started coming here to get to 20 on my weapon mastery in the weapons. I would definitely suggest waiting till you're level 60, just so you have increased health, increased attributes, and you do more damage altogether. But at level 60, coming here to this zone at level 35 is going to be huge. It's going to be a very, very quick way to get your weapon XP up. Thank you guys again for tuning in. I just want to give you guys kind of a quick understanding of the best weapon XP in the game right now. If you guys want to learn more about New World and understand more about the world of Eternum, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications on. I'll see you guys all in the next one.